I want to talk a bit, a bit about Fine today. Um, substitution failure is not an error. And what that means is that during template substitution, if there's uh, an error in the immediate context, then rather than making the program informed, <coughs> the, the, um, fail, the type detection fails. So if you're talking about a function template, we say the function doesn't participate in overload resolution and so on. And that's common knowledge, right? Um, something not as commonly known about Sfine is that Sfine is, is lazy. It, it shares circuits. Um, substitution happens in lexical order, and as soon as type detection fails, substitution stops immediately. That means that after uh, Sfine, no <laughs> other templates will be instantiated. There will be no more substitution. So remember lexical order. Substitution happens in lexical order. OK, and with that in mind, look at these two functions. These two functions look the same, but they're actually different. And they're different because they have different lexical order. Um, the first one checks the Sfine constraint first. Uh, so whenever we get to instantiate foo of t, we know that t is of class type, so we won't hit the static assumption. The second one, on the other hand, has to perform substitution of foo of t first. So if t is not of a class type, we're going to hit the static assertion. The static assertion is not in the immediate context, so this function is not actually Sfine friendly. Um, one thing about the, the, this function, the non Sfine friendly one, is that um, it prevents us from calling other functions, uh, at least other functions called chi with two uh, parameters. Because let's say we have an overload of chi that takes two ints, or even an overload of chi that takes a periodic number of arguments. In order to call chi, we have to compute the overload set. So first we have to do substitution here. And substitution here is going to stop us from getting to the actual function we want to call. Now, with concepts, uh, the story is a bit different. Um, these two are actually equivalent, uh, despite uh, this constraint is actually constraining the template function. This constraint is actually com constraining the template function specialization. Now, we want this to, to work the same. So what happens here is that neither of these functions is Fine friendly because we first perform substitution and we only check the constraints after we have performed substitution. Bryce, quickly. I didn't realize in the second one, you could write <coughs> discussion in the hall afterwards. This one's constraining the function template specialization. This constraints G of T. This one constraints this template, constraints the template F. All right? Um, so actually, um, we are losing something here in going from uh, commons fine. This one's fine friendly, this one isn't. And when we go to use constraints, neither of these is FINA friendly. The constraints don't actually constrain the types that we have here, constraints what comes before after them. Um, do I have, what's the time? There, okay. So I have one minute, so I'm gonna show this one. This is an implementation uh, that I first saw in libc++ by Eric uh, Fisselier. And it's a lazy short circuiting implementation of a conjunction um, trait, it's an uh, all of. And what it does is it takes the pack of predicates and it expands them into a sequence of Sfine checks. So what's gonna happen is that during substitution, these Sfine checks are gonna be checked in lexical order, one at a time, and as soon as one of those is false, substitution is gonna stop. It's not gonna keep instantiating the rest of the predicates. So we're gonna be left with this function only and it's gonna be false. And in the case all the predicates are true, then we're gonna get through the, all these finite checks and we get to the true type, which is true. And that's all my time.